What's going on, Ari? So he's uh, basically what he's saying is the we do variable rate spreading of fertilizer and lime and different things based on the based on the field. As you can see here, the the field's outline and what we needed to do. And anyway, he's saying that it's not running um, on variable rate, which um, I just don't understand. So I'm gonna. I'm going to try to see what's going on with it, what I'm going to really try to do. I think part of it is because I don't think the prescription was selected, really. It looks like the whole field is the same thing. You need to drive it, you know, to step out? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably drive it in just a minute, but I'm just, me. I'm going to start it back over and then come back in. And what is the variable rate of it distributing the, is it fertilizer or what are you dropping? Yeah, so we're trying to distribute, um, yeah, fertilizer. Uh, uh, change something real quick. Yeah, so, you know, as we go across the field, it's kind of hard to tell from the camera now, but if you were to fly a drone or look at it from the sky, you can see certain parts of the fields that are, um, that are, different and consistent than the other ones yeah so what we're doing is we are uh, we're just we're trying to even everything out balance it all out so yeah. we're basically you know we'll look at certain the soil of, of, of those areas that are weaker and we'll determine what minerals or what nutrients are are uh, are are different and then we try to compare them to the the other parts of the field where the where the so you're comparing what the size or like the health the growth like the stage the at the onions too small it needs to be a little bit bigger at this that's point right. because it's looking for more nutrients yeah pretty much that's interesting that's a that's a simple way to kind of put it uh, we're just trying to make the field look consistent all the way across I went through everything that all the check sheet checklist items that we do whenever we are trying to get the system set up yeah. to do this and for some reason it's just not wanting to cooperate today <laughs> and it's usually if there's rain coming and we're trying to put something out before the rain it's usually when things don't cooperate so I'm having to Ryan is gonna call our tech guy and there's a couple of different tech guys we have to go through so I'm sure it's something on our end simple that, uh, you know, the wrong setting or something that's just, we don't always, we don't change and do it all the time. Yeah. And, uh, and we just forget the small steps sometimes and it's, you know, what causes us to uh, be sitting here not able to put out what we want to put out, so. Yeah. And what is the, did I even ask what is it the the mo the motor is not moving the fertilizer back or yeah so it's all about communication so I mean the mechanical uh, components of everything are working yeah but because you have sensors and you have uh, GPS it's telling it where it is mm -hmm. and it's telling it hey I need to speed up or slow down the communication between the tractor uh, GPS system and the machine that runs the the spreader are not are, is what we're having issues with. That's what's not communicating right now. Interesting. So, and there's different little parameters you have to set. For instance, if you're doing a granular product, you've got to set a certain factor so that the system knows that you're putting out a granular product instead of a liquid product and things like that. So. Interesting. 
Yeah. All right, good stuff. All right. Let's go look at some onions. Let's go.